please try for it. And after a quick battery change, we're back. Aglay Blues, back to serve, leading 60 to 7, while the Seahawks will need to go on a mighty charge to try to get back into this set. Right now, 17-7. 25-21, the first set went to the Seahawks. 25-19 for Moncton, and now 17-7. on a 42 to 26 run since the first set. Big block and they just keep building. jean Viet LeBlanc. You know, the, the Aglet Bleu are really putting up a solid wall up there and it looks like they really have a great fan section here. You can hear, you know, the gym is rumbling when they get a big point. So they're doing a really good job making it tough for the Seahawks to score on them right now. Snow. Hogan. Getting it over, it was LeBlanc, Miller, Hogan again, and eats up Turan with that big swing. I love watching her hit the ball. It's just so mesmerizing. She just goes up, and the pace that she can hit that ball at is impressive. Nice one. Get some stats for folks down there. In the stats, I don't know, are they current or from the first set? Oh, they're current. Yes, nice. got some current stats here. So I'll give you your leaders, like we were talking about on Uda, and we've got Rochelle Lemoyne with 11 kills, 2 errors. That is some pretty impressive hitting efficiency there, and trailing behind her is Alyssa Turan with 6 kills, 2 errors. And on the Seahawks side, it's a little more evenly spread. We've got Hogan with 7, uh, leading the Seahawks in kills, and then we've got Miller and Snow with 6 behind her. There's Miller. Carol. Far side, a big block over there on Annie LeBlanc from the Seahawks. 19-9, Serena McNeil will go back to serve. Guitard, Carroll. Big swing in the middle by Bertin. And a lift on the Seahawks. Or two hits, sorry. 29. You can see it on their face, especially Snow. You know, she's getting a little bit frustrated here and is just going to have to find a way to battle it out. Shout out once again because I have the stats here in front of me, but for to Berte on the UDM women's Agli Bleu team. She is the rookie who is named to the rookie all-star team, and she has 17 digs right now, which is, like, unbelievably impressive. Um... And on the other side, we've got Jill Snow with 10 and Kimberly Baudere with 11. So, you know, there's a lot of digs happening here, seeing that we're only in the third set. Carol. Lemoy gets back to work. Good hustle by Hogan. And Bowder gets it over. McNeil. Jill Snow. Nice dig for Agles. Sorensen. Miller rips into one, and that's in on the back line. And that's Miller's favorite shot. Both Hogan and Miller really like their line shots. Miller from the right side, Hogan from the left side. Um, you know, and you, when you watch women's volleyball, a lot of people hit the ball cross court. So seeing, you know, some players, especially this year, I've noticed even, you know, with the Tigers, Anna Dunsu, and seeing some outside hitters really going for those hard line shots is just a credit to how much better the volleyball is getting. Great dig by Kim Bowder. Bowder again. This is her point. Should the Seahawks win it? Snow. Carroll. Bertin. Jill Snow. Nice tip play by Lemoin. But again, Bowder was there. Hagley is scrambling. 20 to 12. Great hustle by the Hagley there, you know. Trying to find a way to get that ball over even when it's just super scrappy, and that's the way they're keeping themselves alive and keeping this lead that they have right now. There's one of your West Coast recruits, Kim Bowder. She was outstanding on that point at the libero position. She's from Langley, BC, where they play volleyball very well. That's in for the Seahawks. Do we have a, a charge coming up for it Mon? Looks like yeah, it. Coach absolutely. Bo Coach Boudreaux Carroll has seen enough. She doesn't want any momentum going to the Seahawks side. But it ain't again, over yet, about, folks. Uh, it ain't over yet. The, uh, uh,